The following few slides just show you some more classes from Java library. In Java API, they contain a rich set of classes for jo developing Java program. You were using those classes frequently in the library to develop your program. So in the next few uh, slides, I want you to read through those examples by yourself from the Java library. So you see, we introduce you the date class. So the date class actually came from java.util.date class. So this one we will use for our assignment. Uh, so we will create a date object. So this date object, they were just using the date. Uh, if you're just using the new date, they will give you the current time. So then you will see here your date object, you just see like this. Uh, so this one is because you didn't include the library. So that's why you need to give them the class type. If you include the library, the data type just date. So you can just using a new date, they will give you the current time. So then the random class, is very similar to MathRandom, but the random class is another class. So MathRandom just a random method, static method from the math class. So another way to generate random number, you also can use the random class on the java.util. So they can generate a random number in different data type to you. So to create that, you need to include java.rand java.util.rent so then you just do the rent on the same thing you can give them the seat so then next int next long next double they just passing you the value and also one thing is sometimes next int you just have a next int value right you don't know the boundary um, but then here you can specify on the range so they will give you the value between 0 to n but not uh, it's close to n so then the same thing, your flow and double, they just give you the value between 0 to 1. Uh, so then you can play this with the random class. So here we can have a, a small example. You see you have, have the random 3, they just give you the next number. Uh, so random 3 is the seat. Uh, so then you can have the using the seat time. Then you see the next int number, you can have the 1000. So if you're using the same seat number, you see the result will be the same. Also, then you have print 2D. Also, the point 2D is your geometry. So then you can specify your X and Y. So then they can um, calculate your X, Y coordinates. So between the distance, or they can set your x and y. So that's the point to the two dimension x y coordinates. Okay. So this those things I want you to use tab type the example to try on uh, in your Eclipse to make sure you know how to use them. So then the next topic I want to talk about is the passing object to method. So when we start talking about passing object to the method in the argument, you need to remember when you're passing an object to the method, you always pass the reference for the object. So remember last week when we talked about method, when you're passing a reference to the method, you need to be careful you actually pass by sharing. So you can pass object to method, like passing an array. So passing an object is actually passing the reference to the object with the sharing. So in our sample code, we will show you the method we want to do is we call print area. So your print area, actually you're passing a circle object. So this circle object is the circle class we defined earlier. So you're passing the object then you give them the int, that means how many times you want to display the area information. And also to print out the circle area n time and increase the radius by 1 each time. 
So on the other hand, you can guess when you pass the circle to the print area method. If you passing the circle object by reference, then the content for the circle object will they be changed in your main method or not? Okay, so before that, you need to make sure you think about that. So you can expect your result is what you expected or not. So the same thing that's run this program in the Eclipse. So this driver code program is we call test pass object. So please make sure you download test pass object from our demo file. So then that's the here we will have a main function. Then we have static method. So this static method is earlier we say print area method. So since we have many different versions of circle, right? Uh, so actually our last version is our circle with private data field. Uh, so we want to protect our radius. So we use the last version. So you're passing the circle object by reference. So then you tell me how many times. So we just print radius area title because we want to display radius and area information. So how many times you want to display, you can either use in the while loop or for loop. That's all up to you. So if we want to use in the while loop, uh, so while the times greater or equal to 1, we continue. So then in the while loop, we decrement one by one. So every time when we display the circle, radius, and area, uh, you see because is we have the private data field. So we only call get method. So get radius, radius for the radius, on uh, get area for get area. So then each time I display, I will see I set the current radius equal to the O1 plus 1. So that's how you can increment your radius by 1. So now you can guess. So this one, when we pass in the circle, Will this circle radius be changed back to the main method or not? So that's why let's create a circle object called my circle. So then we have n equal to 5. That's print my circle 5 times. So after you finish, then we print again. After calling the static method. So then my circle radius change or not. Yeah, so then we run the program. So my output actually is very small, so that's why you should check with your IDE. So then in this output, we do have radius 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But the most important thing is after calling the static method, this my circle in the main method actually they be increased by become 6. So that's why this one we give you the example you passing object through the method. So then in our circle example, when you passing the object by reference, this object being shared by the static method, when they coming back, this object content actually also being updated. So that's what we call you passing object by sharing through the method. Of course, on the PowerPoint, you can see the result. Uh, I screenshot the sample output. But also the most important thing is, if you're not still quite not understand, you need to make sure you also refer to this picture. So you can see when you're passing the object to the method. Uh, remember, in your main method, you create the object. But my circle, this variable name actually is a reference. They were reference to the circle we use the new keyword to create. So they are in the heap memory. So that's the dynamic memory. So then when we pass in to code the static method, you pass in by reference. So they still refer to the same object here. So when you try to update the data in the heap memory, in the main method, they also still refer to the same object. So that's why the object shared by reference so that's why they can be updated data